Hey YouTube, today we're looking at a AG Russell knife. Uh, I'm probably gonna put all of these in a series, well obviously like a, uh, a series, like a, a playlist, but they'll all probably um, premiere in a row. This one I think is the medium gun stock. It has uh, the classic AG Russell scoops that are like the inverse of a uh, thumb stud. I actually like them more. Um, all of A.G. Russell's knives are made that you can, if you absolutely need to, you can fling them out the front and open them one-handed. If, like, say you were in some position, maybe you had a hand on a gate, you were holding a gate open. Um, these, kind of like, the, they will, I guess a little story. This one is, uh, has a proud tip. All of the, all of this model has a proud tip. And that means I can take my finger nail and then open it up. And that could be bad, I guess, but if you were to call and bring it up to them, they would say it's a feature of the knife and some people like it. I actually like it. My grandfather got one of these at one point, I remember when I was a kid, and he uh, did not like the proud tip, and I think that he may have snubbed the nose in some kind of um, high-powered fancy grinder that uh, are, are kind of terrible for knives. And they did, they were kind enough for like 30 bucks to reprofile it for him. Um, I think it was less than that. It was like 10 or something. Um, but yeah, these knives are cool. Um, I like all of the like mid-size lockbacks for A.G. Russell. Um, this one has a kind of a small recurve right here to help you cut fabric and um, rope. It actually does help, although I wouldn't suggest using a planage blade to cut rope. It also helps if you were to bear down on this part um, or if you were to use it in a chopping motion, which I don't think would probably be safe, but you could. And uh, as of like with most knives, knives um, you could, I would say, pretty easily defend yourself with this. I don't think it would be an issue. Um, I don't know if they could get any bigger. I'm not, and I know, I know they don't make one bigger than this, at least not this model. Uh, just because it's it's really really big and the stock gets very thick up at the top here uh, which while the blade is slicey and sometimes scary slicey I use these to cut open leather boots one time and I was like wow um, when it comes to like food and stuff you you gotta be a little bit aware of it like say if you were sli slicing an apple it would bust open the apple or uh, but I think it would be okay for, like, chicken or something like that. But that's any – anyway, that's all she wrote for this one. 